is up everyone? This is Card K-Pop and today I have an old series that again we haven't done in months for whatever reason. Yeah, welcome back to Top 8. I'm by myself doing it today because Bryson is not here and he doesn't know Red Velvet well enough to have any actual like input on this that's gonna help. So I'm by myself to give you all my Top 8 favorite Red Velvet songs. You all know how this works. I just list my favorite. This is just my opinion. Feel free to put your opinion down in the comments below which ones you are, are your favorite or you think is the best, your eight favorite Red Velvet songs. Just in case you don't know, my bias is Yeri in Red Velvet because, I don't know, she's amazing. Here we go with number eight. I am not gonna do Spanish and yell like Bryson does because that's his thing and I'm gonna sound weird doing it by myself. So, number eight, we have their brand new single, or brand new song, I should say, Psycho. Now, if you watched my reaction to Psycho last month, I was completely blown away from it. There sounded so mature and just the song itself was so good, especially Yeri's. Like I said, I'm Yeri biased. Yeri's ad libs at the very end. I love it so much. I've been listening to it a lot. Again, it only came out a month ago, so I'm not going to put it at the top of my list, even though I've been listening to it a lot, but it definitely deserves a place on my list. It's one of my favorite Red Velvet songs and it deserved to be in the top eight. It was so good that last comeback in December. But now we can move on to numero siete. I'm ending up doing Spanish because I'm so used to it. But we have a B-side off of the Red album. No, it's off Peekaboo album. But Kingdom Come. so easy to listen to for me. I, I don't really know how to explain it, but it just has that like, I find myself listening to Kingdom Come over and over because it has this like smooth sound to it. It's like one of Red Velvet's softer songs in a way, and I, I'm, I'm just a genuine fan of it. But yeah, that's number seven. So we're gonna make this video really short, move on to numero six. That's French. Bad boy. I mean, honestly, half of the reason is because they pulled out a sexy concept and Red Velvet doing a sexy concept is like beyond anyone's wildest dreams. And this is one of the few songs that they do it in and they pulled off so fucking well. I remember when it first came out. It was so good. It still is so good. Even the song itself without the like, the visuals behind it that everyone loves like, is smooth and slow and satisfying to listen to. One of their best songs, if not their best song, in my opinion, not my favorite. In terms of production, one of their best songs, I think. So now we move on to numero cinco. I am pulling my Spanish out on a fly. We got I Just. Now this is one of my like favorite, like, Red Velvet B-side songs before it became like a uh, music video and got really popular. It has such a unique sound to it. Like, there's really nothing else Red Velvet's done that sounds like I Just with the, uh, the way they threw it all together. But I Just overall, one of my favorites. I'm gonna keep these explanations short and move on to numero cuatro. Wait, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Numero cuatro, we got Sassy Me. I touch my sky, none of people. Now, I have a specific reason for Sassy Me being this high up. Well, first off, I love it. I think it's so good. But just the, like, the little, uh, like, the deep, like, that deep voice part that Wendy, Joy, and uh, Sogi? I think it's Sogi. I, I don't remember Sogi or Irene. I know Yeri doesn't do it. But... Three of the members do that. I know for, for a fact Wendy and Joy both do it a few times and I haven't heard that in a K-pop song at least. Especially a female K-pop song going that low with their voice and it's just so chilling. Like Especially the first time you listen to it, I don't know. There's some like very like cutesy vocals in there in the beginning, but once you get past that and I've definitely warmed up to it, that song is just so good to me because of those vocals. You just don't expect them to go that low with the uh, sound. So yeah, that's number four was Sassy me. But now moving on to numero 
Trace, I had to think about that. We have another B-side yet again with Bad Dracula. <laughs> This coming off the Russian Roulette album actually made my uh, top 16 of 2016, I believe. It was in my honorable mentions. It should have been in my top 16, I think, but I made sure it would be in my honorable mentions because I listened to this so much. It was so catchy to me. I, I genuinely feel like this should have been the title track over Russian Roulette. Like, don't get me wrong, Russian Roulette's awesome and everything. Definitely one of my lesser listened to title tracks from Red Velvet. I listened to Bad Dracula so much more than Red Velvet. I, I had that shit on repeat in 2016. I loved it. And it's just overall another classic B-side. Red Velvet has some amazing B-sides that people don't give enough credit to. Just vocally. And now moving on to our top two with numero dos. We have another B-side yet again. This time from my favorite Red Velvet album. Maybe my second favorite behind the Peekaboo album. Okay, second favorite Red Velvet album. We have Campfire. I remember the first time I listened to this song. I was on a car ride in December to go to my family's house for a Christmas dinner like that lived far away, like my extended family. And I remember I put this song just to check out the rest of their album because I, I loved that album that came out a few months earlier. And I'm like, whoa, they have some good B-sides. And it's like where I started listening to Huff and Puff, which you're going to see in the honorable mentions, spoiler alert, and um, some other stuff that barely missed out on the list. But Campfire ended up being... My favorite B-side song off that album. It's kind of like the Kingdom Come, like the pre-Kingdom Come. Like the uh, Kingdom Come before Kingdom Come. Because Campfire is such a different sound for Red Velvet. It has like this really chill vibe to it that you don't hear from Red Velvet too often. Because they go with either a hardcore cutesy or a hardcore like badass slash sexy type of concept. And Campfire really hit that for me. But before I get into number one, here are my four honorable mentions. Even though there are a lot more, but I'm going to keep it to four. So yeah, here are the next four. <laughs> And then finally we have numero uno. I wish Bryson was here to do the Spanish, even if he can't supply the Red Velvet knowledge, but we got Dum Dum. <laughs> Ever since Dum Dum come out, came out, it's been my favorite Red Velvet song. It was my favorite Red Velvet song back in the day in 2015. It was my favorite favorite Red Velvet song in 2016 and all through these years. I made a drum cover to it. I listen to it all the time. It's one of my all-time favorite K-pop songs. It's just so crazy and good and classic to me now. It's almost five years old and it's going to be classic to me. But Red Velvet's Dum Dum is not just my favorite Red Velvet song, but like I said, one of my all-time favorite K-pop songs. If I had a list of all-time favorite K-pop songs, it would be in the top 30 K-pop songs I've ever listened to. 100% would be one of those. Hell, maybe even be in the top 10. I don't know. But on top of that, if I had made a list, my top 15 to 2015, which I didn't do because I had recently made this channel and I was like, yeah, I shouldn't make that. I don't think I've been around long enough yet to make that. But if I had, Dum Dum would have been number one. It's that good to me. It's probably one of my lesser known favorite songs of K-pop, but yeah, Dum Dum is one of the best K-pop songs, in my opinion, along with one of my favorite K-pop songs. And I could not talk about that song more highly than I am. It deserves all the praise in the world. I love it so much. That's my number one Red Velvet song they've ever done is Dum Dum. Be sure to put your top eight. I want to read them down in the comments below, below B-sides or if you only know their title tracks, put your top eight title tracks, whatever you want to do. I want to know what your favorite Red Velvet songs are and tell me who your bias is too because that's always interesting. Remember, this is just my opinion and you're entitled to your opinion in the comments below. I've never judged you for something you put down there. Yeah. So as always, thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see some more Red Velvet content. Let me know what else you want to see from the channel. And as always, keep popping and chill. The safe way.
Butabi no nemo dokaju shio hangu malo wajani o sakane o saldo bako chi jene dan figyo mashio na te na so bilan go chame pochi yanga pego mare me fibu no na zeku de ape bono pari jana pari jana e diga ni yo jai de sate bolo no pamo bulji de kane ka fono kaoru gi no way e shino wa ga ni shijo no